It's been a week since the passing of Gord Downey, but these Torontonians are no stranger to his music and his legacy. I'm Natish Bassano at Nathan Film Square, where the group Choir, Choir, Choir has opened an invitation to the entire city to come and sing along and remember the man who made us feel proud to be Canadian. It was a night in Toronto where tragically hit fans gathered in numbers to sing some of the band's classic tunes. Gord Downey died last Tuesday at the age of 53, nearly two years after being diagnosed with glioblastoma, an evasive brain tumor with one of the poorest survival rates of any cancer. This fan drove all the way from Barrie. He couldn't attend the memorial last week in Kingston. There was no way he was missing this one. He was, you know, I grew up, I grew up with him in, in the hip in my teenage years. You know, it's, uh, it's like everybody says, they're like your big brother. They're the band that's your big brother's part of, or, you know, you're their you're house band for Canada. One, two, three, four, this tribute sing-along was put together by Choir, Choir, Choir an open choir group that brings people together to sing in unison. They've done these events in the past for other music stars, and when they found out the news about Gord Downey, they wanted to invite the entire city. A tragic event happens, and you get to be around people. It doesn't matter if you know them well. If they love the music and you love the music, you have an instant connection, and then you're able to sing together, and then you feel connected. It's, it's just a magical thing that happens when you sing with other people. In a city this size, sometimes you get lost, you know, so choir is a place where people can come and feel like they're a part of something if only for one song. It's something even the mayor wanted to be a part of and told us he's not surprised by tonight's turnout. I am never surprised in this city when it comes to an artist they love, a sports team they love, somebody they're mourning, somebody they're celebrating. They show up because I think they feel good being with each other and I think they feel good especially being here to celebrate their storyteller and the fact the stories are still going to be around even though he's gone. This was the perfect way to remember his brother and for what he stood for. Or Downey was an outspoken Indigenous activist who wanted to promote change through his music and his foundation. Throughout the night, donations poured in with fans buying clothing and other merchandise. Keep singing my brother's songs. Keep thinking great thoughts about my brother and keep thinking about how you can make this country better because we can do it. We can do it and it starts right now. Thank you very, very much. What a crowd, what a turnout. Over a thousand people showed up for tonight's tribute sing-along. All the proceeds will go towards the Gord Downey and Chenny Wenjack Fund. From Nathan Phillips Square, I'm Natish Bissonel, City News.